Come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, eFitness, aka Woo! Surf Flex a lot in today's topic. Why do I get sore after I work out? Now, the reason that I'm making this video is because a lot of people, especially those that are new, experience this problem and think that they're doing something wrong. But in reality, they're actually doing a lot of things right. But, guys, before we get too deep, you already know the routine. Don't forget to like my video, share my video, and like my video in advance because you know, you already know that it's going to be good. Back to today's topic. Why do I get sore after I work out? Now, to better understand my answer to this question, you have to first understand how the body works. And the reason being is because a lot of people mistakenly identify muscle injury for muscle soreness. You don't want to do that. So before we begin, let's go ahead and define the two. Muscle injury is actual damage to the tendons or attached muscles, whereas muscle soreness is just a delayed onset that occurs. It's a dull pain that occurs due to intense exercise. So muscle injury creates a sharp pain. Muscle soreness is a dull pain. And with muscle injury, it's usually immediate. With muscle soreness, it usually takes a while, up to 48 hours for you to actually start feeling it. Now that we've got that out the way, let's go ahead and talk about why you get sore in the gym. So to understand this, you have to understand your body. When you work out, especially when it's rigorous, your body is going through certain type of movements. You have concentric movements, like this right here, which means that your muscles are shortening. Then you have eccentric movements, which means that your muscles are lengthening. Then you have isometric movements, which means that your muscles are just trying to stabilize themselves. A combination of three, these three movements create both muscle tears, microscopic muscle tears, and also lactic acid buildup. Lactic acid, for those that don't know, is produced in the red blood cells, and it's also produced in muscles. It happens when your body is using carbohydrates as the primary energy source, and it's low on oxygen. It's a part of the anaerobic metabolism. Once this regenerative process occurs, pain starts to occur. So in essence, the pain that you're feeling, the soreness, is due to that regenerative process, which means that you're doing something good. You work your muscles out to the point that they have to regenerate, and when they regenerate, they're going to get stronger. Now, some signs that you are sore is muscle stiffness. You might feel mild pain, which can take up to 48 hours. When it's acute, it only takes a few hours. When it's delayed, it can take up to 48 hours. You might even experience decreased range of motion. So say, for example, if you try to flex your arm and you can't flex it all the way, that's a sign that you have experienced muscle soreness. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to keep this video short. wanted to teach you how to define muscle soreness and why it happens. With that being said, don't forget to like my video, share my video, and like my video again. It's your boy E Fitness. I'm out. Ah. Come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it.